This is when good friends get together. Clyde Drexler and Clyde, big game. Very big game for both teams, I think. I think both teams would like to establish some type of dominance going into the playoffs. Well, in the first two games, you've used about all evening to get it done. One single overtime and one double overtime. Thrillers. Very, very much so. I think uh, both games very exciting. Both teams had a chance to win either game. And uh, we're anticipating the same type of game tonight. You're an incredible basketball player. One of the best that I've ever seen. You keep your average very steady. You do your steals very steady. You're uh, a good man with the ball in your hands. And you this year have become a better player because you're more team-oriented because the team itself. I, I think your coaching staff has made all of you better. No question about it. I think we've made some changes for the good of the club this year. I think Rick Adelman is just doing a super job. I think the guys who are new, Buck Williams, Cliff Robinson, Wayne Cooper, Drazen Petrovic, yeah. are just doing a super job. And when you have more talent, you got to let the guys play. So my job this year has been to get the guys the ball more and uh, score when necessary, but try to play some good D and just do whatever necessary. But the team is just so much better. It's just a joy to play this year. Talk about the coach a minute. Oh, Rick. Rick Adamer, he's doing a super job. Uh, he's a good motivator. He's a great X and O guy. He really relates well to the players. And when you put all those things together, you have a super coach. Can you believe that you guys are 17 games better at this time than you were one year ago? That's quite an improvement. That's a shocking improvement. That's a great improvement. But uh, last year we thought was a subpar season. It was. That we didn't want to get into. <laughs> had so many problems and uh, just didn't go the way we had planned. I think this year we started out from day one with a good positive attitude. And uh, Coach Adelman has just done a super job of keeping things in control. I'm not talking about the game now. I want to know if you're nervous. Got a new baby coming. For the last two weeks, I've been nervous. And uh, any day now, that's what they keep saying. But uh, I just have to hold on until it comes out. Gay Nell, your wife is a lawyer by trade. Yes, yeah, she is a lawyer. And you studied banking when you were in school at the University of Houston. A little bit. While I was in Houston, I studied banking uh, just a little bit. My, my wife is a confirmed corporate lawyer. I fly by night banker. <laughs> what he does, ladies and gentlemen, is bring in two or three million a year and lets her handle it. You'll have your own bank. Well, that's what we're planning on, and uh, hopefully everything will go okay. You are such a changed person. I, I, I say this because I love you. You're happy, and you weren't always happy here. Well, I'm happy now because the team is winning. Right. I think I've been pretty much content to uh, just come out and just help the Trailblazers in any way that I can for the last six years. Yes, you have. And uh, that's basically my attitude at all times. Winning brings happiness. Winning brings happiness, but when you're not winning, you've got to have some type of balance. That's right. And uh, that's what you've got to maintain in your personal life. And you came out of a winning program at the University of Houston. Yeah, very much so a winning program. Uh, so we won big and was considered yeah. the best college team ever, but we never won the big one. You went to the Final Four twice. Twice, and then they went a year after I left. So they had a great program. And uh, when you come from a good program, you kind of expect the same thing in the NBA. It doesn't surprise me that you go to Houston every summer and counsel kids, teach them to play basketball, tell them about the adversities of drugs and so forth. No question about it. I've been doing that since my rookie year. I go, have two or three basketball camps per summer, and I speak at several others around the country, counseling kids on, first of all, how to play basketball, which gets them there. Yeah. And then you counsel them on the dangers of drugs and alcohol and just things that would get them in trouble and prevent them from reaching their goal. Thank you so much. You're nice. It's been a pleasure, Chick. Thank Good you. to see you. Hey, you like my coat? Always, always nice. I've never seen you uncoordinated. <laughs> I'm uncoordinated tonight. Good game to you. <laughs> okay. Sir. All right. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, on the Lakers Basketball Network. <laughs>